Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy and I'm very excited to share all the lingerie I have made at FIT. I'm a little tapped out from sewing, so I just wanted to share some of the stuff I created. All of the lingerie I made is like in a box and then I had some stuff in like a garment bag, but um, I just wanted to share it because I'm very proud of all of this work. Let's start with the first garment I made in the Intimate Apparel program. Excuse all of the wrinkles, I know stuff needs to be ironed, it's just been in a box for a long time, but that was my first piece in the Intimate Apparel program and we made shapewear panties. So uh, we learned about shapewear and the basic fundamentals of like working with lace. For this panty, I used like this really shiny glamour lycra and let me tell you, <laughs> this fabric is so hard to work with and it like snagged like crazy. I have four garters with like a double strap detail and yes, there was an aggressive amount of beading. Um, beading is just something we did a lot and it really and it really personalized the garment. And then the way you get into this panty is it just has uh, two metal zippers. My professor really loved this hardware. So for your bachelor's, um, for fifth semester, you learn about knitwear and then you decide what specialization you want. And then sixth semester is when you actually start that specialization. So fifth semester, we had stretch fundamentals, which is just learning how to work with stretch lycra fabrics and then we had knitwear, so learning about yarns and stuff. That's when we got introduced to knitwear. So some people specialized in knitwear, and like we also have sportswear, evening wear, and children's wear, and intimate apparel. I decided to specialize in intimate apparel just because I love making women feel empowered and sexy and beautiful. In that sect of the industry, it's really hard to be more like environmentally conscious and sustainable because a lot of fibers used to make intimates consist of poly and lycra, which are synthetic fibers. So I kind of wanted to experiment and see how I could make my projects a little bit more conscious. That scrap is such a great resource to start designing with a waist-led mindset. So I did pick up a lot of my laces from Fab Scrap. Normally, lace you have to dye yourself because a lot of laces come in white or black. We were taught to like use just writ dyes, but I kind of, I steered away from those just because I didn't want to deal with chemicals and. Um, just dyeing fabrics. I just didn't feel comfortable with the dyeing process of a garment is very harmful to the water supply. Transition to botanical dyes. I was successfully able to naturally dye my um, control slip. So this was our second project. I was learning more about shapewear and I dyed my lace with um, coffee and charcoal. So those were like the two first uh, botanical dyes I experimented with and I can tell you it looks so beautiful and a dress ball more on someone. I promise it's kind of hard with these. I forgot to mention the, the panty and the slip both boned with like the spiral steel bonings. Deep everything controls and double separating zippers just ended up being a thing I did for a lot of projects. So um, that's how you get in and out of the slip just a lot more beading and um, just gold hardware. For the third project that semester, we made a bias nightgown. I worked throughout my whole spring break on that gown and I'm, I'm in love with it. I used 100% silk Charmin mousse fabric and it was such, it's such a pretty like beige champagne color and this was the lace I used and I actually dyed it with uh, coffee and charcoal as well. I bought this lace, it was originally pink and then the coffee made it more yellow tone and then the charcoal really muted it down to match the charmeuse. All of the crystals on this are just so beautiful. My professor really loved this and she's like, please save this dress for your wedding night. It's just very long on me because we had to make these gowns like 60 inches long, but um, other than that, uh, I think I'm definitely going to save it for that. This is the back. Oh, like, oh, I'm just in love with the buttons. Um, that I found and they match so beautifully and the loops and just this whole back is just, I love the whole back of this dress. The design on this dress was just so extra. I added like princess seams and silk chiffon godets. So I added another fabric to this gown and let's see, I hope it's gonna pick it up. So like I said, excuse the wrinkles. I added like matching silk chiffon godets if you can 
if you can see them. The photos will do it justice, but they're all like, like there's two in the front and two in the back. This gown's just very long. The whole hem has lace applique that I sewed on by hand. Let me tell you, that was, that was a fun spring break. I even beaded the whole hem on this um, gown. I really do love this gown. That was our third project. I'm shocked with how much I learned. Um, so from the control panty to making a bias nightgown. For our last project that semester, we made a control cami, a pajama glamour pant. This is my control cami. I wanted it to be like a cropped cami with like a silk, silk high-waisted drawstring pant. That was my design for that. The lace was white before and I used activated charcoal and I got this um, pale like blue color. I'm obsessed with this color. Combining it with like the gold hardware was just was everything. And then just more aggressive beading because we just need sparkle. And I finally get to the beading part of just all of my projects. It's kind of hard to stop beading because it's just it's so pretty. <laughs> I could just do it all day long. The center is zipper, so that's how you get in and out of it. And um, there's spiral bones on the side and in the zipper. It has a double strap, so it's like four straps so that cross in the back. It excuse all the wrinkles. Again, <laughs> it's been in a box and chiffon and so just love to wrinkle. I added gold aglets so it would match the hardware on the top. It's kind of hard to show the pant on here just because it's like a really wide pant. Um, and lace up, okay that I sewed on by hand. <laughs> just an aggressive amount of work. The pants are just so fun and completely sheer. That was my last project that semester. For seventh semester, we made three garments. We learned how to make an underwire bra and that was all very exciting. This was my bra and I also had a fitting class. We had a fitting model come in so she would try on the stuff we made and then she'd give us fitting corrections so we'd learn what to fix on our pattern and how to make the bra more comfortable. I used this eyelash lace and I also used charcoal to dye it. This one was more got more of a gray tone versus like the pale blue on the other lace. I think it just had a little bit more of a different fiber in it. I really liked the beading I did at the center of this bra because it was like simple and then I added more at the neckline and then just the strap point. I have just the closure and I decided to beat around it so it would um, just hide the stitching for the second project. Seventh semester we made a bustier. There's just a lot of ribbon. <laughs> I think it was 20 yards of ribbon um, for the lacing in the back. Um, it looks so pretty, as you'll see on the form. This is my bustier I made, and yeah, I'm back to the beige and lot of color <laughs> combination. So if we wanted her to have a lace up back, um, we had to have a bust in the front just so it was an easy way to get in and out of this. And I used an antique brass busk just because, like I said, the gold would have just been too harsh for this. And these are so cool panels, and uh, they're diamond quilted, <laughs> which took a really long time. I had to quilt the fabric first before I cut it out. Okay, well, she just busted open. I think we used uh, 3 8 inch grommets and just a lot of grommets for the lacing. It's, it looks it looks so good on in trim and all of it is dyed. <laughs> so the lace, I, ha I had to dye the lace, which I used coffee and charcoal again. It was just a great combination to get this beautiful beige champagne color. And I also did the same thing to the trim, so I was able to get an exact color match. And I didn't have garters and an antique brass, so I ended up buying suspender clips that were in antique brass, and I used those for the garter clips. Spiral bones and all of these elastics, so yeah. A long time spent on sewing machine. Our last project that semester was a soft bra panty and rope set. This was my soft bra. For this lace, I also used botanical dyes, a combination of hibiscus and coffee for this lace. And I got this beautiful like mix of beige and pink hues. I decided to go with like a gold elastic and I was really happy I did just more beading. <laughs> like a halter bra, it was a high neckline. And then I added, three three straps to each side on the back with gold hardware. You can see the garter belt is just everything. 
Um, so it was all lace and then I added a lot of like spiral bones to it and then um, just four garters that with three elastics go going into one garter. And this is just a plain sheer panty I made for that set to make a robe. So um, I made mine out of this gold net, like, like kimono style, as you can see. Really, I almost forgot, but I added like tassels. I had Femmes going on, which was an intimate apparel contest put on by the Under Fashion Club. I actually ended up placing third, which was really exciting, and my garment got featured in a magazine. I got to go to Cipriani's on 42nd and enjoy this really nice gala and present my garment. I'll insert a video of it on Jewel. She was my model, and she looked so gorgeous in the garment. I made a waisty out of vegan cork leather, and um, it's actually like laces up the back. Um, I'll show it in the video. And then I made a bra, and I dyed the lace with hibiscus and coffee again. So this combination is just a really beautiful, like pink tone. The dress uh, was my favorite. So like I said, I eco printed on this silk, um, and the dress has like two ruffled layers at the hem and then just a lot of eco printing all over it um it took so long but it was so worth it the fun part was just unwrapping the bundles and just seeing what was left behind this is the last semester of fit and we were all just so excited and looking forward to the end of the year we the senior fashion design students to be in a fashion show if they are chosen so we were all super excited and looking forward to showcase our thesis which consists of three looks. In the beginning of the last semester we had to come up with a concept. My collection just revolved around nature and just um, designing with a waist-led mindset. And all of the laces used in my senior thesis collection were found from fab scrap and then I used botanical dyes to dye them. Our fashion show was set to happen in, in May, in May like around graduation and Due to COVID, we were not able to showcase our garments down the runway, so everything was done virtually, which was still nice to see everybody's garment, but it was unfortunate that we couldn't experience it in the way it was intended. So um, never really got to show my pieces or share them, but I'm just happy to be sharing them with you guys. I'll show you guys my sketches for my collection for the senior thesis. We're only required to submit one because due to COVID, there was a lot of us who were limited to our resources. Quarantine, I just needed something to do and I was fortunate enough to have stuff with me. So I made my second garment. <laughs> haven't done the third one. I don't know if I will um, because it is a lot of work and thesis didn't really happen but um my first garment I did put a lot of work into so uh first garment I made the I made a soft bra and pajama pant and I experimented with color more I did a lot of trial and error uh like botanical dyeing so I made a whole book I was testing out because I didn't know what colors I wanted for my collection but then it ended up just coming together so um <laughs> I got this just chartreuse uh Beautiful color. This is the soft bra with this like center dangly charm and um, I'll show the garment on the form. Right before COVID and we were um, not allowed to be on campus anymore, um, we actually did get to do a model fitting which was I was very grateful for because I got to see my garment on a model and it was a beautiful experience so at least I got that. The net and the lace I and then there's also like a lace trim at the edge of the bra. I used a uh, I used a combination of like logwood, turmeric, and walnut. So I used those three to get this, um, this like green, green chartreuse. My senior thesis collection was definitely, were definitely my favorite pieces I have made. Um, this just this bra in particular I just loved. So it has like the cage detail on the sides, and then it just has two clasps in the back. But um, the colors, I think the colors were just to die for, and. Um, the pant just silk so it's a silk chiffon pant and it's like all French saved and um this whole this lace I this lace was my favorite um it was actually pink it was pink when I got when I purchased it from fab scrap and then I dyed it and was able to get the chartreuse color so it's the same lace as the bra um but it was there was just endless possibilities with this lace and um 
I was able to just cut it out and just make it look so organic on the pants and just so beautiful. And I loved this um, combination of the chiffon and just making pant mostly lace. It's a very, it's a very beautiful piece and, um, and the pants were just white leg and there's, I think I did add, yeah, there's like beading about the bottom of the pant. I don't know if the light's picking it up. I think, I think this is definitely my favorite piece. It's like the color and like the amount of work that we put into this. I was very pleased with like my botanical dyeing abilities and I was just able to execute the colors I wanted, which was, it was great. It was a great accomplishment. <laughs> and I just expanded my knowledge of dyeing. And what a bittersweet moment. This was last garment I made and it wasn't on campus. Um, it was in quarantine during COVID, uh, but I was very proud of myself for doing this all on my own. And really, really hard not to be able to finish the complete collection on campus and enjoy senior year, but um, I was very fortunate to have had the FIT experience. This is my bodysuit, so I wanted to do something different and I I wanted to do like uh, the exposed sticks. Let's see how the lace like plunges lower than the wire does, so I wanted to play with that and I was able to execute the exposed sticks on the bodysuit and the lace, <sighs> this lace, it was, uh, it was previously a beige a bit like an off-white beige lace and I used logwood and matter root and they get this like beautiful like purple muted color so you know the beautiful mauve color <laughs> elastic I always use all of the lace was sewn on by hand um was applicated on this it had to be applicated on the form because it's a stretch garment I'm um, back with the double zipper detail um just how I like to get in and out of garment, apparently. Uh, I added garters to it. Even the whole bottom of it has lace applique. It has a ruffle, it has that ruffle trim at the end. But I also dyed with botanical dyes. Just a lot of hand dyeing and hand applique. Like, I don't know if I mentioned, but that whole pant and the whole pant and uh, bra all done by hand, all hand applique just hours, countless hours. <laughs> and that is all of the lingerie I made at FIT. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mini collection and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.